Sharbat Gula, a tale of resilience, recognition, and asylum. Sharbat Gula, born around 1972, gained international acclaim as the 12-year-old subject of the renowned Afghan girl portrait captured by American photojournalist Steve McCurry in 1984. This iconic photograph adorned the cover of the June 1985 issue of National Geographic, depicting the poignant gaze of a young Afghan refugee amidst the tumult of the Soviet-Afghan war. Residing in Nazir Bar, Pakistan, Gula's identity remained shrouded in mystery until 2002, when she was rediscovered and photographed for the second time. For 35 years, Gula lived and raised a family in Pakistan. However, her life took a dramatic turn in 2016 when Pakistani authorities arrested her on charges of possessing forged identity documents. This led to her deportation to Afghanistan in 2017, marking a return to her homeland after decades of displacement. The complexities of her journey took another unexpected twist in November 2021. In a significant development coinciding with the Taliban's takeover of Afghanistan, Shahbat Gula was granted asylum in Italy. This offered a newfound sense of security amid the evolving geopolitical landscape. Gula's life story, from the haunting image captured in her youth to the challenges faced in adulthood, encapsulates the broader struggles of those displaced by conflict. Her resilience, symbolized by the piercing gaze that captivated the world, serves as a powerful testament to the strength of the human spirit. As we reflect on Shahbat Gula's remarkable journey, it prompts us to contemplate the shared humanity that unites us all, transcending borders and circumstances. Early Life Shahbat Gula, born circa 1972, hailed from a Pashtun family, adding a cultural richness to her identity. The early chapters of her life unfolded against the backdrop of the turbulent 1980s when her village faced the onslaught of Soviet helicopters. Initially, there was a misreporting of the tragic events, indicating that her parents succumbed to the attacks. In the wake of these traumatic circumstances, Gula's sisters, brothers, and grandmother embarked on a journey of resilience, seeking refuge in the Nazir Bar refugee camp situated on the border between Pakistan and Afghanistan. This movement was a testament to the indomitable human spirit striving for survival amidst conflict and displacement. However, Gula later clarified the narrative, dispelling the initial reports. She revealed that her mother, rather than falling victim to the violence, passed away due to appendicitis. Furthermore, her father was alive when they made the pivotal decision to relocate to Pakistan. This correction adds a poignant layer to Gula's personal history, underscoring the complexity of her early experiences and the endurance required to navigate the challenging landscape of her formative years. Afghan Girl Photograph, a narrative etched in time. In 1984, against the haunting backdrop of the Afghan war, the lens of National Geographic photographer Steve McCurry embarked on a poignant journey to document the war's harrowing aftermath. His quest led him to refugee camps scattered along the Afghan-Pakistan border where the untold stories of survival and resilience awaited discovery. Within this tumultuous milieu, McCurry's camera captured a moment that would transcend the confines of time and space, becoming one of National Geographic's most iconic cover photographs. Shahbat Gula, a young girl attending school in a Pakistani refugee camp, became the face that would encapsulate the human side of the Afghan struggle. McCurry's lens immortalized Gula's captivating gaze and striking green eyes, creating an indelible image that resonated with viewers around the globe. The photograph, aptly titled The Afghan Girl, faced initial reluctance from the magazine's editor, given its sensitivity. However, the profound narrative conveyed through Gula's eyes, and the broader context of Afghan refugees eventually compelled its publication in June 1985. Little did they anticipate that this image would become not just a symbol of the Afghan conflict, but also an emblem representing the challenges confronted by refugees worldwide. The photograph stirred controversy as it was later alleged that McCurry had not sought permission, diverging from Pashtun traditions where women typically refrain from revealing their faces to unrelated men. Despite these challenges, the image endured, gracing National Geographic's cover not once, but three times. 
Its initial appearance was in June 1985, followed by a revelation of Gula's identity 17 years later in the April 2002 issue. The enduring power of the image was reaffirmed in 2013, marking National Geographic's 125th anniversary in an issue titled The Photo Issue. Gula's life, intricately woven with this iconic photograph, was further explored in the television documentary, Search for the Afghan Girl, offering audiences a profound insight into the woman behind the lens, a symbol of resilience, humanity, and the indomitable spirit of those caught in the crossfires of conflict. A life shaped by adversity, Sharbat Gula's journey through marriage and loss. Amidst the tumultuous mid-1980s, Sharbat Gula's life took a significant turn as she entered the institution of marriage at the tender age of 13. Her union was with Ramak Gula, a baker by profession. This marked a chapter in Gula's life that unfolded against the backdrop of the Afghan war and the complex tapestry of human experiences. In 1992, Gula, now a wife, ventured back to her homeland, Afghanistan. The ensuing years saw the blossoming of her family, with three daughters named Robin, Zahid, and Alien. However, the joys of motherhood were tempered by the sorrow of losing her fourth daughter shortly after birth. Despite the trials that life presented, Gula's family expanded with the arrival of a son. The spectre of loss loomed over Gula once more when her husband Ramak Gula succumbed to hepatitis C around 2012. The void left by his passing added another layer of challenge to Gula's journey. Her resilience in the face of adversity echoed in her expressed hopes for her children, a desire for them to access the gift of education, a treasure that she, in her early years, had to navigate without. When questioned about her sense of safety, Gula's response was a poignant acknowledgement of the harsh realities she endured, no. But life under the Taliban was better. At least there was peace and order. Her survival, she attributed to the will of God, encapsulating the profound faith that guided her through the complexities of existence. In these glimpses into Gula's personal odyssey, we witness a woman whose life is interwoven with the threads of joy, loss, resilience, and an unwavering belief in a higher purpose, a testament to the indomitable spirit that defines the human experience in the face of profound challenges. Revealing the veiled, the quest for Sharbat Gula's identity. For over 17 years, the enigmatic identity of the young Afghan girl immortalized in Steve McCurry's lens remained shrouded in mystery. McCurry's attempts in the 1990s to unveil her name proved futile, and it wasn't until January 2002 that a National Geographic team, led by McCurry himself, embarked on a journey to Afghanistan to finally unravel the mystery. This quest, however, was riddled with challenges as several individuals emerged, each claiming to be the iconic Afghan girl, or to be wed to her. The breakthrough in this captivating pursuit came through a resident of the camp who held the key to Gula's identity, her brother. John Dorgman, utilizing cutting-edge iris recognition software, played a pivotal role in officially verifying Sharbat Gula's identity, bringing an end to nearly two decades of anonymity. A devout Muslim, Gula typically adorned herself with a burqa, embodying the traditional values of her cultural upbringing. Meeting McCurry, an outsider and male, initially stirred hesitation due to cultural norms. Unbeknownst to her, Gula had become a global symbol during the intervening years, her face carrying profound significance far beyond her immediate awareness. When queried about her feelings toward the photograph, her response encapsulated a spectrum of emotions, I became very surprised because I didn't like media and taking photos from childhood. At first, I was concerned about the publicity of my photo, but when I found out that I have been the cause of support help for many people, refugees, then I became happy. Following the revelation of Gula's identity, National Geographic extended support by covering the medical expenses for her family and facilitating a pilgrimage to Mecca. This symbolic journey echoed the transformative power of an image and the unforeseen impact it could have on an individual's life, transcending the boundaries of culture and geography. In the tapestry of Shahbat Gula's life, the unveiling of her identity marked a profound chapter, weaving together the threads of recognition, cultural nuances, and the unexpected ways in which a singular photograph can reshape destinies. Navigating Borders, The Odyssey of Shahbat Gula 
In a twist of fate, Shahbat Gula, the Afghan girl of National Geographic fame, found herself entangled in bureaucratic complexities that spanned across Pakistan and Afghanistan. The unraveling of her story took a tumultuous turn in 2015 when Pakistani newspapers reported the annulment of Gula's computerized national identity card, CNIC, and those of her two sons by the National Database and Registration Authority, NADRA. The alleged issuance of these cards through illicit means cast a shadow over her status. A NADRA source hinted at a common practice among Afghan refugees, where non-relatives' names are enlisted as children to secure documents. The legal ramifications ensued swiftly. On October 26, 2016, Pakistan's Federal Investigation Agency apprehended Gula on charges of residing in the country with forged documents. Following a 15-day detention, a fine, and despite having lived in Pakistan for 35 years, Gula faced deportation to Afghanistan. This decision drew condemnation from Amnesty International, highlighting Pakistan's harsh treatment of Afghan refugees. Upon her arrival in Kabul, Shahbat Gula and her children received a warm reception at the presidential palace, hosted by then-President Ashraf Ghani and former President Hamid Karzai. The Afghan government pledged financial support, offering Gula a 3,000-square-foot residence in Kabul and a monthly stipend of $700 for living and medical expenses. The winds of change, however, brought fresh challenges. With the Taliban's resurgence in Kabul in 2021, Gula, like other high-profile women, faced threats and intimidation. Responding to her plea for safety, she was evacuated to Italy at the end of November 2021. Italy, recognizing her vulnerable status, granted her refugee status, providing a haven amidst the uncertainties of her homeland. The journey of Shahbat Gula, from the lens of Steve McCurry to the legal intricacies of identity cards and the geopolitical shifts in Afghanistan, underscores the intricate tapestry of her life. Each chapter, marked by resilience and tenacity, adds layers to the narrative of a woman whose face became an enduring symbol of a nation's struggles and triumphs. A muse in art and verse. Shahbat Gula's poignant gaze, captured by Steve McCurry's lens, transcended the boundaries of a photograph, inspiring artistic expressions in various forms. Music The ethereal notes of Nightwish, the renowned Finnish metal band, paid homage to Gula on their 2015 album Endless Forms Most Beautiful. The instrumental piece titled The Eyes of Shahbat Gula echoed the enigmatic allure of her gaze. Similarly, the Kilimanjaro Dark Jazz Ensemble, in their album Here Be Dragons, crafted a composition titled Shahbat Gula, weaving her story into the fabric of their musical tapestry. Poetry Gertrud Schnakenberg, a poet with a discerning pen, unveiled a poetic masterpiece titled Afghan Girl, in 2017. Composed over several years, this work found its home in the New England Review, capturing the essence of Gula's enduring presence and the profound impact of her image on the world's collective consciousness. In the realm of popular culture, Shahbat Gula became more than a face, she became a muse, inspiring artists to translate her story into melodies and verses that resonate across diverse artistic landscapes. Through the mediums of music and poetry, Gula's silent narrative continues to echo, ensuring that her legacy extends far beyond the frame of a single photograph. A glimpse into eternity, Shahbat Gula's timeless legacy. In the frame of a single photograph, Shahbat Gula's captivating gaze etched itself into the annals of history, transcending the confines of time and place. Her story, a tapestry woven with threads of resilience, pain, and hope resonates far beyond the borders of Afghanistan. The iconic image captured by Steve McCurry not only symbolizes the plight of Afghan refugees, but also serves as a testament to the enduring power of human spirit. Gula's journey, from the haunting refugee camps on the Afghan-Pakistan border to the covers of National Geographic, embodies the universal struggles and triumphs that connect us all. As she faced the trials of displacement, conflict, and the harsh realities of life, her silent resilience spoke volumes. Through the lens of artistic homage in music and poetry, Gula's influence reaches new heights, turning her into a muse for creative minds across the globe.
Nightwish and the Kilimanjaro Dark Jazz Ensemble, with their musical tributes, and Gertrude Schnakenberg, through her poetic verses, have ensured that Gula's story reverberates in the realms of melody and language. In the face of adversity, Sharbak Gula's unwavering spirit, encapsulated in a single, timeless image, becomes a beacon of inspiration. Her legacy transcends borders, cultures, and artistic expressions, inviting us all to reflect on our shared humanity. As we admire the beauty of her eyes, we also glimpse into the profound resilience that unites us as a global community. In the echoes of her silent narrative, we find a timeless connection that resonates across generations, a connection that reminds us of our shared journey and the enduring power of the human story.